So what's the difference between a full tummy tuck and a reverse tummy tuck? Well, full tummy tuck is what we traditionally do when a woman's had children before, the baby has stretched out that lower abdominal skin. Sometimes we see stretch marks, but the hallmark really is that loose skin that's starting to hang over the waistline. And even when a woman's relaxing her abdominal wall, it still looks like it's pooching out a little bit. And that's not only from the loose skin, but also the muscles that have separated. So a tummy tuck is designed to address all those things where we remove the skin, get rid of all the stretch marks or most of them, and also repair the muscles in the midline to restore the abdominal wall tension or that flatness to the abdominal wall. Now reverse tummy tuck is looking to do some similar things. However, that loose skin is actually in the upper abdominal region. You may ask, why is that in the upper abdominal region and not in the lower? Well, usually what I see is when someone's gained a lot of weight, these are for our massive weight loss patients, they've stretched skin out entirely in the upper, lower abdomen, uh, their arms, legs, all these different places. So sometimes to address that loose skin that's above the belly button that you can't get just by pulling down and a traditional tummy tuck, then we start exerting that pull going upwards or backwards or reverse. So instead of that incision down low by the pubic bone, now we have an incision that sits high just below the crease of the breast and we pull up. So we get all that loose skin that's above the belly button nice and tight. Typically, we're not trying to tighten the muscles in that direction. Uh, it's much easier to tighten the muscles from below. And maybe you've already done that in a separate procedure, but the reverse tummy tuck is really designed to tighten that skin that's below the breast, in between the breast and the belly button by pulling up. This picture shows a woman who's got a lot of loose skin on her lower abdomen. She's had a child before, so we start to see this skin. Even though she's lost weight and she's uh, had the baby, this skin does not snap back into place, and it's starting to fold over her waistline. We can also see some of the stretch marks in place, and we also have that sad belly button sign that I like to call because that's where the skin's starting to sag over on top of the belly button. So I know she would be a great candidate for a traditional tummy tuck because most, if not all, of her loose skin is below her belly button. So we're removing skin from between the belly button and the pubic area and removing that. And while we're doing it at the same time, we're also correcting her muscle diastasis, the muscles that have been separated when she had a baby. So before we remove all this skin, we go up underneath it, tighten up those muscles, flatten out the abdominal musculature, and then pull down and get rid of the rest of the skin. Let me show you a picture of someone now who is more of a candidate for a reverse tummy tuck as opposed to a traditional tummy tuck. So on this patient, we see this is someone who's probably lost quite a bit of weight. She was probably very heavy at some point, but uh, probably estimating more than about 50 pounds of weight loss. And what you can see is we see a lot of loose skin in the lower abdomen, which is below her belly button. But look at all the skin that's above her belly button. So when you do a tummy tuck, you are going to help her out with all this loose skin down here. But perhaps down the road, or maybe to begin with, you may start off with a reverse tummy tuck because this loose skin here will just not get that much tighter with just a uh, lower traditional tummy tuck. You really need to start pulling up on this area to tighten up the loose skin above the belly button. And we do that by simply doing the abdominal plasty operation, but turning it upside down with an incision that goes just below the breast line. You try to hide that incision here and you're removing skin down or up in this region and pulling up. So a very powerful procedure to help out with all that loose skin that sometimes you can see in massive weight loss patients to address that in the upper abdominal region and sometimes in combination with a traditional uh, tummy tuck. But that reverse abdominal plasty is really powerful to tighten up that skin in the upper abdominal region.